Tomata, PCN agent here, service podium. There they are. Are we going to Tahiti? Yes, we are. We made it to Tahiti. It was a six and a half hour, half hour flight. It wasn't too bad. And uh, now we gotta go through customs, collect the boards and go to bed. Tomorrow we're getting on another plane to go to Rangiroa. And uh, you know, this is gonna be a great trip here in Tahiti. I'm so stoked to be back. Lots of guys from Hawaii with all their boards. I'm so stoked I got mine ready to go. Now we're just waiting for no Mizunos and Doug board. But yeah, this is all for the WQS on Rangiroa and uh, also here in Tahiti, Papara. But there's so many boards. Doug, how many boards are there? Yes. You have like half of the, you have four board bags, yes? Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah, you like, what's up? <laughs> we're headed to the car. We made it through security, immigration, oh, all. Yeah. Doug is Super in, seamless. Doug is in quarantine. Doug got, got strip searched, but somehow they let him into the country. Unbelievable. He was a little skeptic to let me go. He looked at me five times. Yannick. Hey, Kai, what's up? Good to see you. <laughs> Where have you been? We've been waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you keep your toothbrush in a board bag? This guy doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't think I'm gonna brush my teeth this whole trip, yeah? You won't, you won't. I never do. Look, we're fitting so many board bags in this little yeah, car. Actually, you know what, this one's going in here. Okay. Now Mizuno gets his own truck. Getting on the plane to Rangiroa. It's a beautiful day here in Tahiti. And this is gonna be an awesome trip. Hopefully we'll get some fun rides. Uh, I think the, the entire trip so far, you know, starts right now be going over the two motus and all the other islands and it's going to be a pretty perspective just from this flight alone It's our first morning here on Rangiroa. We're gonna head down to the beach. The competition should start today. Last night, the waves were so good. It was like coming here expecting two foot grovelly surf and all of a sudden getting the most perfect barrels you can imagine. I think that was the first time ever that I had my expectations so low and were, was rewarded so like purely with such good waves. So. It's competition day today and looking forward to hopefully getting similar waves like that in heat. But to be honest, we'll take whatever we can get. All I know is I'm super stoked to be here. Rangiro is a beautiful place. We're staying at this really nice hotel, which last year we actually stayed at some place that was like nearly camping. And if you've ever been here, you'd understand there's a lot of mosquitoes and it's super, super hot. So just to be able to be in an AC room is a good thing. But yeah, I'm gonna get some breakfast. I'm gonna get one of the only taxis here to give us a ride to the other side of the island, which this island itself is only 100 yards across, but it's just this long sort of skinny little twig of an island, um, a part of a bigger island that once was a big island. It was actually as big as Tahiti, if not bigger, as big as Maui, but the whole center eroded away. And I don't know, this island must be hundreds of millions of years old. You know, the reefs are all that remain, which is what I'm standing on right now. On our way to the beach. Hopefully day number one of competition. How'd you do, Ian? Did you make it? I made them truly sick. How are the yeah. waves out there? It's fucking unreal. It's unreal that there's a QS here. What'd you, like, did you make it like this? Did you make it barreled or did it turn? Got a couple, couple of each. I got like a lot of waves. I kind of forgot how many waves I got. What's up? Heat's coming up in a little bit. Waves look super fun. 
super rippable. Got my two magic boards. Hoping to get barreled and do a bunch of turns. Five nine. Five ten. It's gonna be on here. Oh my god. Did he make it? No. Oh my gosh, that was such a It's really good out there. It's not bad. Good compared to Sure Cove. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Ridge would beg to differ. Ridge would probably call Sugar Cove better than this. Probably. Get that on camera? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Say hi, Ian. Up, that's, that's Ian, by the way. Wow. What is it? The shoulder, too. Is this rehabilitation for your shoulder? Yeah. Moving poo? Poo. Was that from yesterday? Yeah. Light it up. Go. Oh. 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 oh my god. Oh. Doug, what were you doing? Are you cleaning up poop? I have shit all over my hands. Human. Look at the wave, it's firing behind you. Oh my god, barrel. With your hands? I got five. With your hands. Three minutes over this ultra shallow sharp reef the reason why is because I've been catching some awesome waves but the current is just so gnarly and on a little 510 shoreboard it's really difficult to paddle against it so coming in and walking up the coral reef and then negotiating the paddle out right over oh this is sharp right over the reef here's my opportunity wave I paid the price got a huge barrel really nice vision but I broke my board slammed the reef it happens that's the name of the game when you're surfing shallow reef breaks that barrel really hard I definitely had fun but I'm kind of bummed because this JS right here was my magic board oh man I love this thing so much but just part of the game I didn't make my last heat. It was unfortunate. Um, it was really close. I had like two really high eights. And you know, that's how it just goes sometimes. But 
For the most part, I'm stoked uh, to have been scoring some really good waves. Hopefully tomorrow it's banging and we can get some sessions earlier and maybe go on a secret strike mission to another island here in Tahiti. We'll have to wait and see. You know what they say, don't leave good surf to find better surf. And the surf's really good here.